Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, this is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, guys, we are unbagging this huge bag <laughs> that we got during our Dollar Tree merch search the other day. So stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, if you saw our merch search video the other day, we went to Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Hobby Lobby. And today is the items that we got from Dollar Tree. And it's a big stuffed bag full. Right, Fisher? It really is. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, since it is a lot of stuff, dude, and I'm going to need both hands for this, I'm going to set you to the side for right now. You can hang out with your little friends and let me show everybody what we got. There's a couple things in there I'll need your help with, though. You good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude. Boop. Let's put you with your friends for right now. So, guys, yeah, huge, huge bag. So, I'm just going to start by pulling things out. I've got this right here, which is a food tent. Now, I'm not quite sure how big this is, but my idea is to open it up, see what it looks like, and maybe actually make a Nuimo's tent with it. So, yeah, let's open it up, take it out of the bag, and see how big it actually is. Okay, so it's a little big, but guys, yeah, it looks like a tent. And I'm going to have to do something in the front here to make an opening, but you can see through both sides, which is really cool. And I've got Tigger with me. And, yeah, this will make a perfect Nuimo's deluxe camping tent. So, for a buck, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Again, I'm going to have to make some kind of opening here or here on the side. I haven't decided yet. So, stay tuned because I'll be doing a camping video with these guys in the very near future. Next item in the bag, guys, is just this little wooden box. I needed something for the game room in the Nuimo's house, which I'm doing the patio and the game room as my first rooms that I'm going to complete. But I needed something to help the little arcade game stand up a little bit higher. So I'm hoping this will work with that. I'll, of course, paint it black, and this doesn't matter right here. But And then I'll have a little storage box in there, too. So... That is what the box is going to be used for, hopefully. If that changes, you'll find out in the videos when I do those rooms. I got some little sponges, because these are great for Mod Podge, and I ran out of them. So, yeah, for a dollar, always great to get these at the Dollar Tree. They're cheap. They work well. I love them. And guys, I forgot to mention in this video that the Dollar Tree that we went to the other day was a different one from any of the ones we've ever gone to. But they did have the little Barbie-type furniture, so I picked up another toilet, that's going to be for the bathroom in the guest house. And I picked up another tub. I don't know why I picked up another tub other than the fact that they're really hard to find. So yeah, this will just be kind of a spare in case anything ever happens to the first one. I also, for the new Emo's house, picked up this little pedestal. I'm actually going to flip it over. I'm going to paint this side to match the rest of it. And it's going to be like a little end table in the living room. I just thought, you know, Dollar Tree's great finds can make things into things. So they needed end tables, so I'm going to see how this one works out. And if it works out well, I'll go back and get more. I also got there to decorate the patio of the new Emo's house, some fishing net. Thinking about doing that kind of along the back for the summer, give it kind of a summer party vibe. So fishing net for that. And guys and guys, I was really excited. I finally found a Dollar Tree that had the Grogu Cup. They only had one, so I grabbed it. I've been looking for these for a really long time, so I was just super, 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 super excited to find this. I also picked up some small flowers, little teeny tinies. My idea for these is I'm going to take the little flowers off of the stems, and I'm going to make lays for the new emos. Let me grab Tigger here real quick. And yeah, just size-wise, I think those are going to work perfectly. Yeah, size-wise, they do. They are awesome. So they will be really cute as little lays for the new emos. So I'm going to do one with just these, 
And then I'm gonna do one, I think, with both of these colors, kind of maybe for 4th of July, a little 4th of July barbecue Nui Mo's Luau. Next, I did pick up the mirrors. Say hello, camera. I picked up the mirrors to use on the walls in the Nui Mo house. I picked up this really cute one here, and then I picked up this round one here. Hello, camera. <laughs> Ooh, hello, fingerprints. Oh well, no worries. I'll clean it up before it goes on the wall of the new emo house. But one of these is going to be for the wall of the bathroom, and the other one maybe game room because of all the bling. Not not quite sure where the other one's going yet. But yeah, these will definitely be in the new emo house on the wall. And speaking of on the wall of the new emo house, I also picked up a couple of these. They're little place card holders, but they are the perfect size for little framed pictures to hang on the wall of the new emo house. So I got two of those for now. Silver, yeah, not really jazzed about that. I'm probably going to paint them, I'm not sure what color yet, whatever matches the wallpaper. And then I picked up this frame here, guys, but I'm not going to be using it as a frame. I'm actually going to be painting the frame of this black and maybe the glass put something black behind it so you still get that little bit of a shine and I'm gonna take off the little metal stand but this is going to be the TV for the new emos so they can sit in the living room and have a little flat screen TV on the wall now the next item I had actually heard that they had them at the Dollar Tree again the two that I usually go to did not have them so when I saw the bin of these, I had to start digging through, and I found one. It's a Grogu Magic Towel. I guess you get these wet and they kind of expand. Let's go throw it in some water and see what it does. So there it is, out. Let's turn the water on. It's supposed to be magic. It's supposed to expand. Let's see. Well, probably would be better if I dropped it in, but we don't have a plug in the sink, so... <laughs> there it goes. So, there it is expanded. Let's go back in where I can show it to you full size. So, it didn't take that long to expand, but there it is, guys. It's just a little Baby Yoda washcloth and got little Mando helmets on it. He's kind of funky looking, but it's cute. I love it, and... Yeah, I'll get use out of it. You can always use new washcloths. He's adorable. The next thing that I couldn't resist getting, guys, is this. This cute little kind of beachy bag. It's tiny. And yeah, it's Annabelle size. So Annabelle now has a cute little beach bag to carry her stuff around in. Everybody loves Annabelle. She's doing good. She's still in her Alice costume because I just think it looks totally adorable on her. And if you missed the video on that one, guys, right up there. Go check it out. The next item, I've been eyeing these up for a while, and they have these little kind of patriotic ones. They're the little tiny solo cups, or fake solo cups, but I thought these would be really fun to use with Fisher. So let me show you what I'm going to do with them. Oh, Fisher! Yes, Mommy Lorian! Hey, dude. I got you these cute little solo cups. What do you think of it? Oh, it's so tiny and cute, and it's my size. I love it, love it, love it. All right, dude, so you have magnets in your hands. He totally has magnets in his hands, guys. And what I'm gonna do with the cup, guys, is I'm just gonna take a little magnet, I'm just gonna put it inside. I'm not even gonna glue it inside because when I put this up to his hand, the magnet's going to attach. And yep, Fisher can drink out of his little Solo cup. How adorable is that, guys? Red Solo cup. Yep. Hey, copyright dude, so we can't sing that song, but you guys can sing it in your head. So, adorable, I love it, and yeah, now Fisher's got a little party cup, and all of his friends, but he's the only one with magnets in his hands, so this is a really cute, cute accessory for little Fisher here. Alright dude, so there's one more thing that I got that you're gonna have to help me with. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. Alright, let me grab it. It's these right here. Yeah, I got the little patriotic party hats too. I thought maybe they would fit on the new emos, but now looking at them, yeah, they're super big. But we'll try one on Tigger just for giggles. But let's try one on Fisher to see how he looks. Ready, guys? How stinking adorable is that? 
He's got his little Uncle Sam hat. He's got his little solo cup. He is ready for the 4th of July. I'm ready for the 4th of July. It's, I just, I love summer, so cannot wait. Hopefully we'll have the new Emos patio done by then so they can have a big 4th of July barbecue. And maybe they'll invite Fisher with all of his little solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I said I was going to try one of these on the new Emos, just so you can see how big it actually is. So yeah, there it is on Tigger. Tigger, are you under there? He is. I actually tried to pull it up a little bit, and when you try to pull it up so you can see his eyes, it, his ears kind of push it off. So yeah, definitely a little big for the new Emos there. Maybe on Mickey or Stitch, who have bigger heads, it would fit better. But yep. Boop, there it goes right off. I'll have to try it on different new emos in the future and see how it works. But yeah, it's a little big for their heads. So guys, what did you think of that Dollar Tree haul? I did really, really well today. I like that Dollar Tree and I usually go there around Christmas time because they usually have more and different Christmas decorations. But it's a little bit further so I don't get out to that one that much. But I'm glad that we decided to go to that one today. You happy with everything, Fisher? I love it. I love it all. Especially my solo cup. <laughs> yes, that solo cup. Yeah, that's a pretty rad find. I think those are awesome. So, anyway guys, got lots of stuff for the new Emo house. Some fun Grogu items. Some actual Grogu items, which I was pleasantly surprised to find. And yeah, lots of DIY stuff for the future. So, yeah, stay tuned for all that. But, in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see you later!